Abu Bakr, the Siddiq of this Ummah, he also tastes death. When he died, they went in search for what he had left behind in terms of inheritance. He was the Khalifa, he was the leader of the Muslim world, the gold of the dunya were under his hands. They found he had left behind a mule and two garments. He said, shroud me with one of the garments and send the other and the mule to Umar ibn al-Khattab and say to him, Ya Umar, O Umar, ittaqillah, fee Allah, for you will encounter death, the like which I am experiencing. When the mule and garment reached Umar, he sat weeping, then said, you have made it a difficult task on those Khalifas, on those leaders that will succeed you, O Abu Bakr. Ibn al-Qayyim and others from amongst the Muslim scholars have mentioned that Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, he used to go out every morning with the rising of the sun to a tent on the outskirts of Medina. He walks in on one of those under his care, an old and blind woman. He would sweep the floor of her home, cook her food and milk her cattle. When he would finish, he would return to his home. Omar began to say to himself, where is that Abu Bakr going? Where does he go every morning? One day after Abu Bakr leaves the tent, Omar enters the tent and he says, who are you? And then the response comes, I am a blind, poor and destitute woman. My husband died some time ago and I don't have anyone to help me after Allah except this man who comes to my service. He said, do you know him? She said, Wallahi, by Allah, I don't know him. What does he do? Umar said, he sweeps my floor, he cooks my meals and he milks my cattle. So he sat and he wept. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower him with his peace, his blessings and his bounties. Yeah, yeah.